All right, guys. Welcome back, Push Gardeners. Uh, this is video number two of the Arduino Nano Pulse Induction Metal Detector Project. And today we are going to look at the preamp portion of the circuit along with the transmitter portion of the circuit. So what you're looking at right now on the printed circuit board you can see I've got uh, various probes attached here right up here at the very top of the screen you see the the yellow that is on test point one that's our ground reference okay um, you can see right here we have uh, one of my multimeter probes and that's on test point six and what we're doing it there is we're, we're looking at the uh, the voltage output on the output of the preamp and I also attached to the same point have uh, one of my oscilloscope leads leading back to the scope and we're, we're looking at the same same thing the voltage output of the preamp so let's take a look at both the multimeter as well as the oscilloscope and be before we change shots let me just point out the multi turn trimmer here and that is the multi turn trimmer that you use to uh, null that preamp okay so let's take a look at the oscilloscope and the multimeter okay so on screen here what you're seeing is the output of the preamp that is test point six and um, as we mentioned the uh, multi-turn trim pot which is R12 on the board it gets adjusted so that the preamp output is zero volts so uh, you can see I have uh, measure enabled on the oscilloscope and you can see that uh, we're, we're sitting right on zero volts it's, it's kind of it's kind of jumping jumping around there just just a little bit but uh, for all intents and purposes I think that uh, op amp is nulled out so let me just swing over to the multimeter and that is the reading on the multimeter there's a, uh, a little bit of a disparity between how the multimeter reads the voltage and the oscilloscope, but um, in accordance with page 33 of the project book, that is approximately what we should be looking at on the multimeter. Okay, so let's go back now and check out the transmit portion of the circuit and we will look at the flyback so as we just talked about um, what we're looking at on the oscilloscope here is the flyback signal and you can see we are at 50 volts and we have a peak to peak of 202 volts and we're looking at a time base of 25 microseconds so I will show you the uh, connections that I've made on the printed circuit board and then we'll take a look at the schematic okay so the purpose of this is to show you the connections that you would do or that I should say that I have done in order to get a flyback signal on the oscilloscope so you see my oscilloscope probe here we have set on 10x don't forget that 
Um, here's the ground connection and here's the probe connection and once again you need to make sure that you have the proper points on this header because only one of those goes to ground. Alright guys, let's take a look at the schematic. Alright, so as promised, um, we're going to take a real quick run through the schematic for the transmit and preamp portion of the circuit. Right, uh, let's start off here with the Arduino Nano, the core of this metal detector project, and look at uh, digital output 8. So that's digital output 8, and that's what's giving us our transmit pulse, right? We come up here to test point 2, that's where we would uh, view on our oscilloscope what the transmit pulse looks like. And so when, when the transmit pulse goes, goes high, we're, we're turning on transistor Q2, which in turn fires off our MOSFET, which in this project is an IRF9640, a P-channel MOSFET. So this, this fires off and away we go with the signal to the coil. Okay, we see our uh, damping resistor here and a couple of uh, clipping diodes so we don't destroy the preamp. And for this project, we're using an NE5534 preamp. Here we have our null offset that we looked at on both the oscilloscope as well as the multimeter. One other thing to note here on the uh, preamp is that we have this capacitor C4 and then C5 up here, and they are decoupling capacitors right on the uh, power rails. And that's really all we need to look at here on this circuit. So thanks for joining me and look forward to our next installment. Thanks.